Hey guys and welcome back to another test server review with Stupendous. So let's jump right into the skins and kind of get these and some of the other stuff out of the way so we get to the important parts. So this is the croc skin. I think it looks kind of like Joanna from Rescuers Down Under, the monitor lizard in that Disney movie. Uh, looks kind of crazy. I think it's funny. Uh, kind of a goofy looking, looking skin. Um, this rhino one, uh, the face on it looks really cool. The rest of it kind of makes it uh, look like it's wearing pajamas to me, um, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> and let me know how you guys say pajamas. Do you say pajamas or pajamas? I just want to know. But yeah, I think it kind of looks like he's wearing pajamas, so <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. But yeah, the face on it, that looks really cool. And then this is the vector skin, uh, the other skin for it. I think it's kind of boring. Um, but for the $750 skin, at least you get to, uh, or 750 gold skin, you get to customize your rhino. Um, so then, jumping over here and taking a look at the boa, um, this is the only... Uh, skin available for it. I bet they probably only put one skin out for it since it's not commonly used much anymore. But you see the fox there on the side, uh, just going around, it just kind of keeps that same color theme coming all the way around here. And then uh, looking over to the Lancelot, this one is a really cool and I feel like well thought out skin on here. Um, looks really impressive. I really like the colors on it. The accents are nice. Um, and then I think it's a nice touch that there's the claw marks and scratches kind of all over it. Looks really cool. Um, just kind of a nice little touch. I think this one's a really well thought out skin. It makes the Lancelot look really nice. And it's a big contrast from what uh, the Lancelot normally looks like, you know, being uh, mostly white, uh, just with like the gray accents and some red and stuff like that. Um, it's a big contrast to it, so I like that. So you can choose Joanna, Blue Suede Shoes, <laughs> Firefox by Mozilla, or <laughs> Lancelot PD. Anyway, so <laughs> that's the skins out of the way there. Um, and this request, uh, so I've sped up these videos a lot um, with the new bots because really, you know, not much um, or anything has changed with them. Um, and uh, you're welcome to the one person who requested <laughs> that I run geckos on this thing. Uh, this is uh, this is its only moment of glory. <laughs> um, using it today on the test server here, so um, I end up jumping out of it here in just a second. But yeah, so this this one's for you, man. Whoever you were, I can't remember who requested it, but someone did. So <laughs> so I decided to throw it in there for you guys. So can't say I don't love you. Um, anyway, so we'll jump in here to what uh, what this bot should be used like. It actually works really well with the setup that I prefer on it with uh, the aphids and pinatas. Um, at uh, putting pressure on and covering this uh, front area. So if you think about it with these new bots, um, the perk with them, uh, and I talked about this a little bit last time, the perk that they have is that they have an offensive um, ability, whereas the majority of the bots in the game have a defensive or traversal ability. So think about it. So you've got all the shielded bots in the game. They can either activate a shield, um, or they have a passive one, or they have an ansel shield. Um, as part of their ability or um, they can sprint or jump which is what I would call like a traversal and uh, Some would argue maybe that that's uh, both offensive and defensive kind of thing, but um, Really, I, I think this is probably the only setup in the game. That's really a truly um, offensive uh, Ability I guess sorry <laughs> losing my words there um, but yeah, the only bot I I really enjoy playing with still is still the heavy bot and it's still this setup that I prefer on it. Um, so having uh, the Zeus and the KWKs, the KWKs I just use until um, I get into range and then um, and then I just switch to my uh, Zeus because they deal so much more damage uh, per shot. Um, almost almost the same as just one uh, or one one Zeus can do just about the same damage as. Uh, um, as both KWKs. Uh, it's pretty close there anyway. Um, and so, yeah, but yeah, so this setup is my favorite. I, I can consistently get, like if I only run this, I can consistently score um, between 500 and 900,000 damage uh, just with this bot. Um, so I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed this setup and everything. And there's a little more, there's much more diversity on um, this this week, at least when I was playing on the test server. Whereas uh, in, in prior weeks, we were definitely getting a lot more uh, like trebuchets and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I sped up all this footage for you because I want to get to uh, some exciting and uh, kind of meaty, juicy details with you guys um, from some stuff that I noticed on the test server. So just so that you guys are aware, when I, when I jump on the test server, I, I poke around in menus and I look around at all the different 
uh, aspects of the game and then weapons that I think, you know, maybe worth like taking a look at to see if they did anything to, I'll take a look at those as well. And so, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of my method with the test server so that I make sure I'm testing everything and then, you know, if there's anything that they didn't mark on there because they don't tell you um, a fair amount of the things that they put on there. Um, I, uh, I try to find that kind of stuff uh, for you guys. And this week, um, yeah, I definitely found some stuff with uh, regarding uh, the firearms and stuff. And that's something that we've all kind of been waiting for for a while is, is for something else to happen in that regard because, you know, there's that firearm update that was talked about for like months and months and it was in several test servers and we've all kind of been waiting for that. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll just finish up uh, zapping these uh, <laughs> these players here, and then we'll we'll kind of change gears here. So, um, anyways, well, well played. I, I feel like I pl played pretty well in that round. I just ended up camping for quite a while, and so that, uh, <laughs> that that's kind of not like a great call. But I just uh, I, I was having a lot of fun playing with that guy. So, and uh, yeah, this is like we talked about last week with Doc. This is just a fun setup. Um, because you can get, you can be super annoying um, with the hydras um, loaded out on this thing because of uh, that swap ability. You can like constantly fire hydras for for a little bit there. <laughs> so I just think it's funny to use them. Um, anyways, yeah, that windscreen I don't think it was supposed to be there. That was just some some kind of lag there. But you see there, like I spent pretty much that entire round in that bot and did pretty well with it. So anyways, let's jump into this Griffin here. Um, so loaded out with uh, the molets. And um, so I skipped the first part of this round where I went and grabbed that side beacon. Then I'm coming up over here. Um, I after I found this, I decided I would put it in and, and show it to you guys and, and kind of test it out, like how it felt and everything. Um, since I didn't announce it or anything, I thought you know someone ought to test this and give feedback on it. And then uh, maybe if you guys are able to play any more on the test server, um, like on Sunday or anything like that, before it closes, you can test it out and also give them some fe some uh, feedback on it. I think they would probably appreciate it, um, even if it's something that uh, they didn't put on the testing list um, for this week. So yeah, definitely uh, uh, make sure that you give them feedback on it if you liked it um, kind of thing and if you played with it on the test server. So um, anyways, yeah, so I, I feel like this is an update that's needed to happen for a long time because um, while like max style, these can still um, deal decent damage and everything like that, like on, on the live servers, and I've... Um, I've been working on upgrading them. I just have focused on some other upgrades as well. Um, but it's something that I've been uh, really looking forward to. And you, you notice with the with the uh, twin ones, they're actually unloading their clip at the same exact rate as the um, as the other molots. So that means that they must have tweaked the uh, firing uh, the firing rate of the uh, the medium weapon which I think has been necessary. And I've always thought like, you know, because with some of the other medium weapons in the game, like the Hydra, for example, it does exactly twice the damage of a spiral. And I feel like that's something that would have been an easy fix for the firearms before, but then they were like doing all the weird stuff with the firearm update, like just increasing the rate of fire of the firearms, like overall, and then giving them bonuses to shields. And I, a couple times I gave feedback where like, you know, if, if you would just make the, uh, the medium version of the weapon just do twice the damage of the regular version of the weapon and change nothing else. I feel like that would have fixed a lot of the problems with how they're underpowered in um, gold tier play. But it looks like they, um, and I'll show you the numbers here in just a second, but it looks like they um, just increased the bullet damage so that it's identical um, between the two, but they've just tweaked the rate of fire so that the, the clips are um, unloading at the same exact rate even though the T's have uh, twice the clip, so twice the capacity unloading at the same time does double the damage, right? So I've just got some kind of like rough numbers coming up here um, in just a second to show you guys. Um, and uh, <laughs> they may not be like super correct or anything like that, but it's just one aspect and I'll explain it as we come up to it. And uh, let me know uh, what you guys think about this as, as we're coming through. Is this something that's needed? Is it something that's not needed? Uh, let me know. But anyway, so let's look at the numbers here. So the current, like what it is on the live server is 293 for the mullet T um, or 3809 DPS. Um, and then, yeah, you can you could pause it or go back if you wanna look at that for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, effectively like doubled uh, the current DPS of it there. And then uh, with this one, it went from 387 to 480. So 480 is the same between the two of them um, with this current update. 
Um, but then, yeah, like you guys were seeing as I was playing, they were unloading at almost exactly the same rate. And so looking at the Punishers as well, um, they also made tweaks to those. And so I've included the DPS. So that's just um, like 306 times 20 because, you know, what it says in that description thing is that it's 20 rounds per second. But I think they made some other tweaks there and everything. So those DPS calculations probably won't be 100% correct. But just to give you guys an idea of what this update means. And that DPS is huge, but do keep in mind there is bullet spread you have to take into account. Um, but uh, also with that bullet spread, it can be really useful when you're playing against some of the larger bots like Lancelot or um, or like Butch or uh, Natasha or the Fury or the Griffin or yeah any bot that has a lot of surface area. Um, that bullet spread can actually be useful instead of a detriment. When you're in lower level play, that bullet spread... Uh, it, it makes it hard to hit a light bot, but for other bots, it makes it, uh, um, it actually can help out because that wherever that bot moves, there's probably a bullet for him um, heading in that direction. So this is what it looks like on the live server right now. So this is just uh, one of my griffins loaded out with um, the highest level ones that I have right now. And I'm just showing you the descriptions in it. So I don't think that they've changed the descriptions at all, even though I think they've changed the rate of fire um, of both the Punisher and the Mola medium weapon versions, so the T versions. Um, I think that that has changed, and I didn't have time to, you know, go through and time it and calculate things or, or whatever, but, um, yeah, play with it on the test server. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below. Leave them feedback. Tell them uh, you like it or don't like it. Uh, personally, I think it's something that's needed. I think it'll add a lot of uh, good diversity to the game, and I don't know if, you know, the exact numbers that they have it at, I don't know if that's what we need there, um, but so far, so good. I've got two more... Uh, short clips here with uh, both the Punishers and the Molots. So let's go through and watch these uh, Punishers tear through this guy right here. I mean, he's just about done anyways, but um, you can see that the uh, the damage bar there is lagging a little bit. It has a hard time keeping up with the uh, with the bullets on there, just like it does with rockets, but um, I don't know if that's something that's going to change in the near future, but, um, but yeah, so there's that. <laughs> but tears through pretty quick, and so um, even just with the single ones at 20 rounds per second, um, that's, uh, that's pretty significant damage, and when you get within that like 300 meter range, you're getting a solid chunk of those bullets that are contacting. And so, see with this Fury here, I'm able to deal quite a bit of damage as I'm coming in there. I was getting support from my teammates with rockets there as well, um, and unfortunately I ate uh, a bunch of those aphids and everything, but uh, yeah, something else on the test server this week is there's uh, definitely, just like last week, there's a fair amount of lag. Um, with uh, with damage and then with uh, players and stuff like chopping and bouncing back and forth. Um, so still dealing with that, um, but I don't know if that'll change on the test servers since it's not a it's not the biggest priority for them. Like the live servers, like making sure that those servers are running well. That's definitely what they want to do. So uh, here's uh, that same round. Um, so running with the molots and. Um, so if you watch his health bar there, like it's starting to tick down pretty fast there. He's not getting hit very much by my teammates until uh, just right now. Um, but we were able to clear him out pretty quick um, with uh, with these weapons. And so if you notice the timers there, so the mullet T is just like maybe half a second behind the, the regular one. And uh, I believe previously like it was, it was uh, a couple seconds um, slower at unloading before. And so you'd have them out of sync uh, quite a bit, but with how it is right now, they're pretty much always in sync, which is really, really nice. Um, especially with the Griffin, because like when you're firing, you're, like, you're totally exposed wherever you are. You see that lag there uh, with that damage bar that I was talking about. So, um, and even up close with the way that they have this, um, it seems like, uh, like you're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Like you still have about a 15 second unload time um, to be able to totally unload your clip, but Anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for checking out the video, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.